Assembly de- represented by his deputy, Vice Chairman, Honorable Musa Pali, Honorable Ministers of State Health, State Industries, State Nadia Delta, Honorable Minister of Sports, Honorable Minister of Special Duties, Agriculture, Water Resources, State Power, and of course, Trade and Investment. Our Royal uh, Highnesses, Lansara Kuna Dede, Gombia Nasara, Donda Basanguzawa. Permanent Secretaries, including and especially that of Civil Aviation and other Permanent Secretaries. State Representatives, Heads of Agencies, including my friend, the Director General of National Orientation Agency, Dr. Garba Abari. Of course, our Vice Chancellors and their representatives who are responsible for further research and development in all facets of life. Our partners, especially WMO, our amiable students, and my friends, gentlemen of the media. I know the protocol has been well established. I had to labor to go through it because I observed that it has been observed at some point in the bridge. Uh, mine isn't perfect either. The police accept it as come. We respectively observe all, all protocols. Judge Eda, I've seen you for after that. Um, I'm very glad to address you all on this occasion of public presentation of the 2021 seasonal climate prediction and the 2020 state of the climate bulletin being prepared by NIMT. And this is uh, certainly an important annual event organized by this agency and I am particularly pleased to note that NIMT is focusing this year's SCP presentation on the theme seasonal climate prediction supporting the economy cope with the challenges of COVID-19 pandemic in Nigeria. Very apt. The choice of this theme is quite relevant due to the fact that Nigeria and indeed other parts of the world have been ravaged by coronavirus pandemic, which brought untold hardships and challenges to the most or to most economies of the world. For this reason, year 2020 was very challenging to almost all nations of the world, including Nigeria. In fact, the ministry I supervise is the worst affected by COVID-19 in 2020 and up until this moment. We give thanks to God, the Almighty, that despite the second wave of the virus, Nigeria and Africa are recording less casualties compared to other parts of the world. The challenges in the year 2020 were also worsened by the multiplier effect of extreme weather events experienced in the world and also in Nigeria. For instance, cases of extreme heavy rainfall caused flooding in most extreme northern states of the country, while the south experienced extreme rainfall shortages, which led to drought and prolonged dry spells in majority of the states. Let me review here that meteorology observation, meteorological observation in Nigeria started since 1887. 1887. And the first Operation Meteorological Service Department was established in 1937. Since then, Nigeria, well, just to say that it started before amalgamation of 1914, anyway. Uh, since then, Nigeria capacity for weather and climate observation and services have continued to develop successfully. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency, therefore, came into existence by Act of National Assembly of 2003, precisely on 21st of May 2003, and became effective 19th of June of the same year, following assent by Mr. President. The federal government, under the able leadership of Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, is very much committed to supporting the advancement of meteorology for national development in all relevant sectors of the country. I shall in this respect continue to support 
and encourage United to do more in order to meet the aspirations of His Excellency, Mr. President. In the whole, or in the wake of increasing trends of uncertainties regarding weather and changing climate, NIMED has continued to strive for excellence in meeting national, regional, and global expectations in weather and climate service delivery. One of these products is the annual climate prediction. The predictions from NIMED on a seasonal time scale have evolved over time. These involve improvements in the methodology and the lead time, including the deployment of more analytical tools and models, improved knowledge and scientific skills, and broadening of stakeholders and other user community. One critical involvement in the transition from only rainfall as a predictant to more climate variables. Similarly, the focus and target user community have widened from primarily the agricultural sector to other relevant weather and climate sensitive sectors of the economy, including sports. This environment has therefore necessitated a change in the nomenclature of the document from seasonal rainfall prediction to seasonal climate prediction to reflect the aforementioned improvements, thereby truly reflecting the contents of our publication. The SCP is a national publication designed to provide climate information early regarding the upcoming season with the aim of assisting all the relevant stakeholders and user communities to factor the predictions in their policies and activities for the year. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 SCP document contains valuable information that is useful for planning activities in all sectors of the economy. Thus, while a lot of focus is set on agriculture, of course for obvious reasons, other sectors such as security, water resources, so let me say here, water resources, my bone health, in fact, in health, I, I remember the state that uh, most cooperated with us in health is that of Casina at the time when uh, the Honorable Commissioner at that time, Ajay Maria Balansma, was in charge. She was always in here, and I believe even today she'll be in this hall. Thank you, Casina State. Environment, transportation, power, and energy, marine, construction, oil and gas, telecommunications, insurance, and finance trade and commerce, disaster risks, reduction, etc. also stand to benefit immensely from our predictions. I therefore urge all policymakers here present to ensure that the information contained in the document that is about to be presented is utilized by the technocrats working with them during the implementation of this year's budget and indeed any other government program aimed at the social economic development of our dear nation. Just like what uh, His Royal Highness had said, or the Royal Highnesses, that they will push down this uh, document to the down trailer and explain to them for the benefit of our people. And this is especially so because, as a signatory to the Paris Agreement on Limiting Emissions to below 2, plus two degrees Celsius, all projects and programs should be designed and delivered in accordance with our national commitments. To this to the Paris Agreement and you will agree with me that the first consideration should be the state of our climate. I have in this vein directed NIMET to expeditiously attend to any requests for additional clarification or for specific products developed by MDS, states, local governments and other stakeholders where activities depend on weather and climate information. This is an important information for all Nigerians. It is crucial that government and individuals have access to this science-based focus that is derived from robust data and which is updated consistently. More importantly, science is factual and is precise. I remember the last time we tried to narrow down to each local government that we reduced it to, uh, of course, within uh, one kilometer, uh, one square kilometer, and then further reduced to one square meter. 
We can actually predict what will happen on your dinner table if it's outside. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the information about to be presented is science-based, derived from robust data and has been reviewed severally by experts. It is intended that it will be updated consistently and periodically as the season progresses to analyze observed deviations. Basically, information about onset dates for growing season, end of the season, length of the growing season, annual total rainfall amount, day and night temperature forecast, dry spell forecast, little dry season forecast, socioeconomic implications of the predictions, malaria and cerebrospinal meningitis forecast for the year 2021 is what is contained in this document. Um, well, for lack of light, okay, we are here, here, but I cannot see very well. Okay, good. I now have the pleasure to announce the 2021 climate prediction as follows. But just before then, I think there's an important document that came to my knowledge, which I want to share. Um, there's a farmer uh, in the Palestine state, specifically from Dunguru. Uh, that farmer kept his book where he records the rainfalls and the millimeter and the date and the time, etc. Very diligently done. You know, and this is a native man in his locality and being very scientific and being very accurate and following our predictions. And the reason was, I remember the second time we did this uh, seasonal rainfall prediction, we divided certain category of farmers. Some followed our predictions and planted around Sokoto Zampara KV area, and some didn't. Those who did ended up with bumper harvest. Those who didn't ended up with empty pockets. Well, so I now have the pleasure to announce the 2021 climate prediction as follows. A. Onset, which is the planting period. Onset, which is the planting period. The 2021 onset of the growing season is predicted to be normal to earlier than normal in most part of the country. The earliest onset date is likely to occur on the 1st of March, one day before my birthday in 2021. Along the coastal line of the country, while the latest date is anticipated to be around 29th of June, the day after my wife's birthday, in the northwest, northernmost part of the country. However, later than normal onset dates are expected over a few places such as Lagos, Ogun, Kebi, and larger state, Bagadozi. B. Secession. The earliest secession date is around 9th of October, two days before the birthday of my son. It's expected around Katsina and the northern parts of Sokoto, while the latest secession date is expected 25th of December, which is seven days after Mr. President's birthday, 2021, over the Niger Delta. Generally, secession dates are predicted to be relatively normal in most places, except for a few places where secession dates are expected to be a little earlier or later than normal. C. Length of growing season. The length of growing season. The 2021 length of growing season is expected to span between 110 days in the extreme north to over 300 days in the south. Most places are expected to have their usual length of season. However, a few places such as Lagos and the FCT are likely to have a shorter length of season Defining by a few days, about 5 to 14 days. You know, capital cities, they have their own way of doing things. Because they're all here maybe disturbing the ecology and the environment. Anyways, D, rainfall amount. A normal to above normal annual rainfall amount is expected for most part of the country. However, below normal rainfall totals are expected over a few places in the northern west part of the country, such as Sokoto. Kebi Zambara and uh, the state of the Minister for Agriculture, Kano. 
A, pre onset REM fall, false onset. This is a false alarm. Before the full establishment of the onset of the planting season over the various ecological zones, a couple of rainfall events are expected to occur, which could be enormous and tend to give a false start of the season. Such rainfall events are not un uncommon, however, their frequency seems to be on the rise. This is a time when in Hausa land they do this usual business, they call it obinne, depending on which house you speak. When they go to a dry spell and then put in the seed in anticipation that the rain will come quickly, and most time it may come up, it shoots out. Unfortunately, thereafter it will, it will seed and they will, lost, they will lose their uh, crops. Some forcing functions have been observed to be likely responsible and will be monitored carefully and keep Nigerians informed. Farmers should therefore avoid early planting during this period to avoid losses. So please, if you want to do binne or bizne or whatever it is, please do consult this document. We will launch an app here and all of us are on Facebook, Twitter and so on and so forth. So based on social media, you can now access, download the app and it will predict to near accurate so that you don't lose your money. Dry spells, F. Dry spells are normal occurrences annually and occur in virtually all states of the Federation. This is what we call here in House Land Fali. These spells vary in severity and duration across the nation. This year, severe dry spells are predicted over the following areas. In Kebi State, Ariwadadi, Burden Kabi, Alagungun, Daudi, and Aoji. In Sokoto, Ilela, Gada, Tangaza, Gudu, and Sabambini. In Zampara, Shinkahi, Bindamagaji, Maradu, and Zulmi. Unfortunately, also there is in Kasana. And more unfortunately, there is also in Dusi, where I come from. So Dusi, Kasana, Meadua, Manshi, Kaita, Ngudu, my neighbor Daura, Baure, and Zango. Jigawa, where the Galadiman Kazaure reigns, in Jinasulema Adamu, Gwiwa, Mkwashi, Gumal, Bernewa, Viltankarkar, Guri, Hikasawa. In Nyobe, including where the Senate President comes from, Nguru, Isufari, Yunusari, Karaswa, Barge, Jakusko, Machina. I'm not sure if uh, one of the state uh, works is involved on the Gaidam. Borno, Abadam, Lake Malamba, Mobar, Kukawa, Guzamala, Gubio. Lanzai, Amongulu, National Security Advisor. We have to adv advise him here. In the month of June and July, which may last between two to three weeks after the onset, farmers are therefore should adopt soil moisture conservation techniques to reduce chances of crop failure during this period. So we've given the period within which it will happen, and there is this soil moisture conservation. And I believe that the local governments and state, state uh, governments uh, learn the technique which they can teach their teachers uh, to be able to avoid losses. G. Flash floods. The normal to above normal rainfall pattern in the country will lead to the possibility of isolated flash floods due to increasing high intensity rainfall at the peak of the season, especially in areas that are naturally prone to flooding. Day and night temperatures. Temperatures for the month of January to April are usually forecast annually to, so as to take into cognizance the effects at these times which represent the coldest and warmest periods of the year. In 2021, forecast, greater parts of the country are expected to record normal to colder than normal temperatures. So you have to buy lots of blankets. In addition to the SCP being presented today, I urge all here present to get acquainted with other products that NIMED develops to aid national development. There are products like the Drought and Flooding Monitoring Bulletin, the Agromet Bulletin, 
air quality monitoring bulletin and the quality and the quarterly weather bulletin as well as marine met bulletin and many others that are available at the agency